The police get into a argument with children, which then puts one child in handcuffs and allegations of a police officer punching another child in the face. Yep, this is these New York streets. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? Aight, so... Yeah. So, apparently, there was a melee that broke out in the Dre... J... J Street train station? Uh, Metro Tech station in Brooklyn between some teens and police. So... First thing I'm going to do is say shout out to the New York Post. Uh, this story that I'm going to be reading a little bit of uh, was written or was, came from uh, Tina Moore, Ruth Weissman, and Jorge Fitzgibbon. And uh, it, it starts, Mobile phone video captured a wild melee Saturday between nearly a dozen cops and a group of teenagers on a Brooklyn subway station with punches flying on both sides five people were arrested after the 2 20 a.m brawl at the j street metro tech station near borough hall which police said broke out after cops responded to reports of a fight between two groups on the j street that later spilled into the transit station the video starts with officers trying to handcuff one suspect while a handful of individuals appear to try to pull the cops away. One officer reacts by running up and punching one of the teens in the face, sparking another tussle. Now, real quick, a couple of things I want to say about this. First of all, we have to take some kind of accountability. When we have teens outside in the middle of the street fighting each other, whether it's uh, the police get involved or not, we have to take some responsibility as older individuals as individuals that know better what kind of example are we are we giving to the youth because if our example to the youth is every time we get into an altercation or every time we have a disagreement with somebody is that we're gonna try to put our hands on them or we want all the smoke or just you know the terms that people use to just want to fight people for really no reason some of the time you can't expect our youth to respond differently that's one okay now these police are 100 percent wrong i'm gonna say this again these police are 100 percent wrong i'm gonna explain something this is what i believe a lot of the problem between the police and the citizens actually come from something happens the police show up and the first thing the police sometimes try to do is choose who they're gonna put handcuffs on the police show up and the first thing they attempt to do is see who they're gonna initially place the blame on now in our community, we have situations that commonly transpire that is of the domestic issue. Like you might have people arguing or you might have a shoving match. Just so we could be clear, these aren't reasons for a person to get handcuffs put on them. But often in these cases, an individual gets handcuffs put on them. So when you have kids who grew up in households where they have personally witnessed handcuffs get put on the wrong individual and the police show up and then they decide to put handcuffs on somebody who maybe wasn't wrong maybe wasn't right who knows they're gonna put handcuffs on whoever the loudest is nine times out of ten so they don't i'm not necessarily saying that the person they put handcuffs on was wrong or was right 
But when the police show up, they're to keep the peace. If there was a mutual fight between a group of people, probably what the police should look forward to is allowing those individuals to go in their separate ways. You go that way, you go that way. When I grew up, we had fights in the street. It happens. If the police show up, the police didn't start arresting people. The police kept the peace, at least in the situations that... in. in a majority of the situations that I was involved in. The police are supposed to be, supposed to be peacekeepers, not blame delegators. So when the police show up and they put that young lady in handcuffs, we don't know what happened. These kids was fighting outside. They drew the fight all the way down to the police station. The police is 100% right. We have to de-escalate the situation by putting, well, if the police is trying to de-escalate the situation, they are correct. By immediately putting somebody in handcuffs, that's not DNS escalating the situation. That's my point. These are teenagers. These are kids. I'm agree. 2.20 in the morning? What are you outside for? I don't think anybody that is younger than 18 has any reason to... To be outside at 2.20 in the morning. I don't know the age of these people. I'm not going to assume to. But if it's 2.20 a.m. in the morning. And you're younger than 18. They, they, that doesn't that doesn't necessarily bode well with me. But that's me and that's my beliefs. And, and I'm not trying to hold nobody else accountable for those. When I was a little bit. When I was younger than 18. There was times that I was out, outside of the house after 2.20. And every single which one of those times. I probably shouldn't have been. Just keeping it a whole stack. Every single one of those times that I was outside the house and it was after 2 o'clock in the morning, after 1.30 in the morning, after 1 o'clock in the morning, I was probably doing some stuff that I shouldn't have been doing. I was probably involved in shenanigans. So when I see that the police pull up to these kids and instead of trying to mitigate the harm instead of trying to uh how do you say uh create a situation that is less hostile instead of trying to de-escalate the situation they not only put one of the kids in handcuffs but also get into a fist fight with another kid if you watch the video which we're not playing on the channel but if you watch the video it looked like the other cops that were standing around when the one dude started got in the fist fight with the cops. They was the one cop. It looked like those other police officers were surprised. That young boy threw about three or four punches before anybody jumped on him. They were surprised. So this is just another example of how one bad apple spoils the bunch. Because now, even if those other police officers were trying to actually do their job the right way. They're put into a situation where now they have to hold down and get into a fight with a whole bunch of young kids because one officer decided to lose his cool and throw a punch. We have to hold these police officers accountable. We have to hold these parents accountable. We have to hold these children accountable. Don't get this confused. But more than anything else, the police should not be beating on kids. At this point, all of this is just despicable. I don't know. Let me know what y'all guys think down in the comment section. I'm pretty sure there's a couple of people that might side with the police. If you do, please let it be known you will not get hit with bags. But at the end of the day, I want to know how do people feel about this? Do people feel those kids shouldn't have been out in the middle of the night? Do people feel that the police should understand that they're dealing with children? I want to know what you guys think about this. Please leave it down in the comment section. Also, in addition to this, from what I'm hearing, the police hit that kid in the face first. I am an advocate of when the police fire off on somebody and it's found out that Whatever the situation escalated to, people need to be held responsible. 
I think that that first police officer is the one that whether he has to get time off, whatever the case is, I'm not, he needs to be the one that's held responsible. He needs to be the one that's removed from his position. The other guys at that point, to be honest with you, they probably moving off adrenaline. He was the individual or she was the individual that started the fracas. I want to know what you guys think about that. Anyway, leave it down in the comment section. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.